Assalamu alaikum. Uh, hope you are all uh, doing well. And last time uh, we discussed uh, the upper respiratory tract infections in children, and this time uh, we will discuss the lower respiratory tract infections or pneumonias in children. So I am uh, Muhammad Awas and one of the assistant professors in Akhtar Said uh, Medical College in Pediatric Department. So little about the description of uh, introduction. Um, as we already know the incidence of pneumonia uh, is almost in uh, every age group uh, but particularly it affects more uh, in infancy and uh, in old age so uh, means extremes of age uh, also in the childhood. Uh, pneumonia uh, is actually uh, one of the major causes of death in uh, all over the world so uh, along with uh, the diarrheas so especially in uh, countries like uh, Pakistan uh, where the resources are very much limited um, uh, this is a, a big problem uh, so it is caused uh, by a variety of uh, viruses and bacteria as in upper respiratory tract infections so uh, but in most of the cases we are not able to identify the organism. Um, viruses are the most common cause in younger children uh, while the bacteria are common in older children but uh, this is not a hard and fast rule. Uh, what are the pathogens or organisms causing uh, pneumonia uh, in children? So if you stratify or we classify in different age groups, different pediatric age groups, so we'll see newborn uh, the organisms are from the mother's genital tract, particularly uh, GBS, group B streptococcus, but also gram-negative enterococci like E. coli. Uh, if we talk about infants and uh, young children, so in those uh, kids, the viruses like respiratory uh, sensitial virus, RSV, and are most common but uh, bacterial infections like uh, streptococcus pneumoniae, hemophilus influenzae and uh, we talk about atypical bacteria like body pertussis and chlamydia trichomatis uh, can also cause uh, pneumonia in this age group along with the staph aureus. Uh, in children over 5 years of age uh, mycoplasma pneumoniae uh, Streptococcus pneumoniae and chlamydia pneumonia are the main causes. And in all the age groups, mycobacterium tuberculosis should be considered. Clinical features. So, what are the clinical features? Uh, or uh, first, uh, we talk about uh, symptoms in the children presenting to you with the low respiratory tract infection. Um, so it usually starts uh, with the non-specific symptoms of fever, cough, and uh, uh, lethargicness. But um, afterwards, as the child gets uh, more sick, more ill, so uh, the child would not be very much eager to feed. So the mother uh, would say that the child is not taking uh, orally well, or if the child is uh, on the uh, bottles, the child, uh, the mother will say the child is not taking enough bottles, or if you know, the uh, the child is on the breastfeed, the mother would say that the the the, ch the baby is not taking breastfeed well. Uh, so there would be a significant change in form uh, of the activity of the child, and the mother recognizes it well most of the time, and. Uh, Along with uh, there would be difficulty in breathing and uh, uh, in older kids they may complain of uh, localized chest or abdominal pain sometimes. And specifically if, if we talk about examination findings that there would be tachypnea means increased respiratory rate and uh, along with the, the nasal flaring and uh, 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 chest and drawing like subcostal intercostal recessions. And if you auscultate uh, the chest, you may find uh, some uh, coarse crackles over the affected area. Um, uh, if you are able to do that dull uh, percussion in the, the kids which are a difficult task, the, there may be the dullness over the 
uh, area affected area and decreased uh, uh, breath sounds uh, with the help of the stethoscope uh, and and also there will be a bronchial type of uh, breathing uh, which is uh, abnormal in the chest especially if we talk about uh, and uh, if you take uh, the oxygen saturation reading uh, that would be decreased um, uh, and uh, that means like um, the child is not getting enough oxygen uh, from his lungs uh, and uh, Clinically, the child may get cyanosed or off color. So these are two most common uh, occurring pneumonias. One is bronchial pneumonia. One is lobar pneumonia in the kids. And lobar pneumonia, as by name, uh, it involves the whole lobe of the lung. And bronchial pneumonia, um, in which there is a usually a scattered appearance of the lesions or scattered appearance of the, on the radiographs. So this is the uh, one patch of consolidation and these are uh, little bit scattered areas of consolidations. So if we compare lobar pneumonia with bronchial pneumonia uh, and interstitial pneumonia, uh, the primary location of infection, if, loba, if we talk about lobar pneumonia, it is the, in the alveoli. And uh, in bronchial pneumonia, it is in the airways like bronchi. And in interstitial pneumonia, it is within the, within the interstitium of the lungs. If we uh, look at the x-rays of different kinds of pneumonia, there would be dense uh, consolidation patch as we already uh, have seen in the last uh, photograph. Uh, one lobe would be involved in, in which we can uh, see the air bronchograms on the chest x-ray especially. Um, so these, are, these would be the consolidated, consolidated uh, airways. Uh, um, and uh, in bronchial pneumonia, the, the same uh, thing will be uh, there, but in the uh, form of patchy opacities in chest X-ray. And uh, in interstitial pneumonia, there will be diffuse, hazy opacities and septal thickening. We talk about ultrasound pattern, uh, the same, the consolidation would be of an extensive and sometimes we may be able to find some uh, kind of effusion, paranomonic effusion on the ultrasound as well. Um, and in bronchial pneumonia, uh, on ultrasound, there will be patchy B lines and may have some consolidation. So, uh, if we uh, go for the microbiology, uh, in most of the cases of lobar pneumonia, the cause is Streptococcus pneumoniae, but other organisms can also give a lobar appearance of the lungs on the axis like Lepsiella and Legionella. In bronchial pneumonia, uh, the causative organisms most likely uh, would be a wide variety of atypical organisms like uh, Mycoplasma, Chlamydia, Pseudomonas, and sometimes Staph aureus. Interstitial pneumonia are due to some uh, viruses and uh, PJPs like uh, pneumocystic gyborosci uh, uh, pneumonia and uh, Mycoplasma. If we go for investigation, uh, chest X-ray may come from the diagnosis, but with the exception of the classical uh, lobar pneumonia, uh, characteristic, which is the characteristic of streptococcus pneumonia, chest X-ray uh, cannot differentiate between bacterial and viral pneumonia. So even if it is uh, lobar pneumonia, there is likely possibility of streptococcus, but uh, we can't say 100% that it is streptococcus pneumonia because we need to confirm it. Uh, on the blood cultures. So this is the classical presentation of lobar pneumonia. This is the chest X-ray of a child. And this is the cardiac shadow and these are the lung fields. If you see this side, left side is uh, okay relatively and the right side if you see there is a white opacity on the um, upper zone of the chest X-ray and this is involving the whole upper lobe of the right side of the chest, right side of the lung. and uh, if we see closely, uh, there were there, along with the homogeneous opacities, there is some air bronchograms, this black area, and uh, this border of uh, the heart is obscured. It is called Sillard sign. So these all all the these are all the radiological findings in the consolidation or pneumonia. In younger children, a nasopharyngeal aspirate is useful to identify viral cause, like in uh, 
respiratory syncytial virus and bronchiolitis uh, sometimes we uh, offer uh, nasopharyngeal aspirate and when we, uh, uh, we do the examination sometimes we would be able to identify respiratory syncytial virus but uh, like blood tests and including full blood count and cure phase reactants uh, like CRP generally and unhelpful in differentiating between viral and bacterial cause and uh, blood culture is useful but uh, unfortunately it is not present in all of the cases uh, of the <coughs> uh, uh, affected patients uh, like if 100 patients uh, are actually affected with the uh, pneumococcus uh, we may uh, have some 34 40 percent blood culture positive in that uh, kids only but the disease would be in seven, rest of 70 to 40 percent as well so blood culture definitely confirms but if the blood culture is negative that, that doesn't mean that the uh, infection or the bacterial infection is not there complications uh, which what could be the complications of pneumonia small proportion of pneumonias are associated with the pleural effusion uh, where there may be blunting of the costophrenic angle of the chest x-ray. Costophrenic angle is the angle uh, between the ribs and the diaphragm. Some of these effusions develop into the emphysema, uh, empyema sorry, so empyema that may get secondarily infected the effusion. So that may be the, you can say the pus uh, inside that uh, area and uh, fibrin strands may form uh, leading to septations which make drainage difficult. Ultrasound of the chest will often distinguish between paramunicophrion and empyema. So this is the chest x-ray showing uh, lobar pneumonia most likely and uh, this is the uh, costophrenic angle which is obliterated although the cardiophrenic angle in this is also obliterated. So this is the uh, if you uh, inside the right side of the lower chest. How we will manage the cases of uh, pneumonia in children? Most cases can be managed at home, uh, like if they don't need oxygen or they are uh, not very severe. But indication for admission include oxygen saturation less than uh, 93%. If you take uh, the saturation of the child, the saturation would be less than 93% and the child would be cyanose. Uh, these are the candidates for the uh, admissions. If there is to keep nails out of proportion and if difficult there is difficult breathing along with if the child is early infant there would be some uh, funny sound like grunting sounds uh, due to air compromise or if the child is a newborn baby um, or early infant there may be pauses in the breathing and that are called apnea along with the bradycardia not uh, feeding or uh, the child is not feeding well or the uh, family is uneducated and Definitely, and they are coming from far areas. You need to keep the uh, baby inside the hospital at least for that particular night. Uh, in management, there are general supportive care, uh, like uh, include uh, oxygen for hypoxia and uh, analgesia if there is any pain or fever. Uh, we should maintain the uh, hydration. Uh, if not, uh, the child is not taking orally, then we need to give nasogastric. Uh, feeding and if the child is not able to take nasogastric uh, then uh, we need to uh, give IV fluids and physiotherapy has got no role. The choice of antibiotics is determined by the child's age, severity of illness and appearance on the chest x-ray. Uh, definitely after blood culture it depends upon the uh, organism uh, of the causative organism as well. So newborns uh, uh, we need uh, uh, broad spectrum IV antibiotics like combination antibiotic cefotaxim gracil uh, I mean to say cefotaxim and amikacin and um, most <coughs> older infants can be managed with oral amoxicillin uh, and the areas where there are resistance to amoxicillin we can use for moxiclave or uh, keftriaxone and for children more than five years of age um, either amoxicillin or an oral microlite such as erythromycin or clarithromycin. If the child is allergic to penicillin, we can also do clarithromycin or erythromycin. Uh, management of uh, paranemonic effusions are usually, uh, they are usually resolved with the appropriate antibiotics. But the small proportion that develop into uh, empyema, they require drainage of the collection. 
This may be achieved by either placement of chest drain uh, with or without the installation of uh, fibrinolytic agent in the intrapleural space, uh, for example, urokinase, to break any septation or biosurgical decortication. But in simple cases, we only put the chest drain with the underwater seal. Uh, practices uh, may vary between different centers of the same countries as well. So prognosis uh, is generally good. Follow-up is not generally required for children with simple consolidation on chest x-ray and who recover clinically. Those with evidence of uh, low bar collapse, atelectasis or empyema uh, should be uh, having a repeat x-ray after 4 to 6 weeks. And worse with all children with pneumonia, even those with empyema make a full recovery. What is the prevention? Uh, first uh, prevention is definitely hygiene, nutrition, and then uh, vaccinations are available. A conjugate vaccine, Previna, with the immunogenicity against 13 of the most common types, uh, serotypes of Streptococcus pneumonia, responsible for invasive disease and uh, is now included in the routine immunization schedule in the UK and in many countries in Pakistan there is also a conjugate vaccine uh, against pneumococcus we give in uh, EPI schedule uh, by EPI I mean extended program of immunization of Pakistan there has been a marked reduction in the incidence of pneumonia from hemophilus influenza type B since the introduction of Hib immunization this, that is also the part of our uh, vaccination schedule in Pakistan. Thank you very much and if you have any questions uh, you may comment uh, underneath the YouTube uh, channel or you can uh, talk to me uh, through Facebook as well. Thanks very much. Thank you.